Hello YouTube! <laughs> I've uh, recently tried to make some videos but they were complete failures. And basically I've just been on a full loop. I've got back to the place where I was when I had my first, if you like, revelation. And I've been through a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of thinking, I went to America, basically from that point I was, well I, I think I was doing some things which may have been necessary, in fact, because as a result of what I did going to America, reuniting with my best buddy from, you know, with like that for years as really young kids, so our souls very connected, and that was helpful. By experiencing what I've just experienced was basically our souls are all in God. They are, in every sense of the word, in God or and certainly attached to God as well. And, and in that sense, in our attachment, we're sort of we like tadpole like you know learning so there's no getting away from it and if you could you'd levitate if you get to the point where you can you'll really learn everything you need to know maybe you'd be able to levitate I reckon so if you see me levitating then maybe that's possible but not for the moment the thing, thing is that we're in God all the time whether we like it or not connected to the ground that's God's connection to us and we've always got a connection to the ground apart well when you're flying but then you're still you're sitting on a seat or standing on an aeroplane still standing on something right okay so that that's basically God and you know you can you can almost get to the point where you know everything is for you the feelings everything is for you and events that's how events will seem to sort of just be tailor made for you and you think how can this possibly be you know is the whole universe just for me all these people milling around and no all the people milling around are unique souls as well we're all unique souls we have a soulmate who we'll always feel connected to and God, which we are connected to in every sense of the way. <laughs> and even a thought um, can bring you... Because, you see, there's one choice is to go with God and be with God. And then there's another choice which is to be in addiction with things which God will let you know Nah, that's not good for you, or, you know, don't do that, that's not good for the other person. You'll, you'll certainly know by feeling it. And then you have to sort of, you know, so you make that choice. But even a thought of, for me, be a thought of having a fag, that would be enough to bring me away. Oh, yeah. But we'll see what it's like when I've eaten some food and see if I'm still <laughs> as, as resilient. Well, hopefully I will be. And, you know, I don't think making videos is an addiction, but I think probably when I just go on too long, that's probably an addiction. But I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say, and there probably was. Because <laughs> you think things like da 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 da. And then when you say them, it's all drawn out and you have to use your words and uh, it's, it's not as good, not as good. Um, so basically, yeah, it, you know, I've been doing work today, sitting here, thinking, feeling. You know, mostly it's sort of, you intellectually analyse something, you know, and this was that I should forgive my mother and father, my mother and father. 
and you know you try and sort of think oh but then you get onto something in your imagination and you get that encouragement when you're on the right thing as well God sort of gives you an encouragement a sort of a bit of feeling yeah you're getting closer you're getting closer and you know until the point where I was there earlier just totally feeling Oh, feeling that he did something good and afterwards, well, you know, I'd sort of stood much straighter and yeah, and I've just thought about having a fag, so I've just committed a sin. Anyway, I'll stop now. <laughs>